Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's now time for Saginaw Celebrate Summer. Joining us this morning, our one-stop guide to everything arts and culture, our great friend Marsha Braun. Marsha, good to see you, girl. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? Good. It's Friday. It's Friday. We're getting ready for a weekend full of great activities. Yeah, and let's yeah. start off with tonight. So tonight is Movies Under the Stars. This yes. is at Joe Event Park. What are they showing this evening? Well, it's a it's a family-friendly movie. Mm -hmm. It's Disney's Wish. Oh, and nice. so so, um, you know, bring the whole family because they've got great activities starting at 7.30 mm -hmm. before the movie. Uh, they've got some snacks and yard games. So grab the family and bring a blanket, some chairs. And, of course, the Joel Event Park is right across the street from, from the station yeah. here. And it's a great place to just kind of chill under the stars. And, like I said, Disney's Wish mm -hmm. is the movie tonight. So nice. definitely family friendly. Do you have to pay to get in? No, it's a free Ooh, event. Nice. So that makes it even, even better. better yep. <laughs> Yeah, family free, family friendly free entertainment. Love yeah. it. All right, so Marsha, poets also have a chance to get together this weekend at a writing workshop. I love yes. this. Tell us a little bit more about this one. Right, this is at the Retke home on Gratiot, and Theodore Retke was a Pulitzer Prize winning poet, yeah. right? from Saginaw, yeah, right here. Yeah. And they have a summer poetry series. Mm. So all summer long, they're doing programs, everything from writing workshops to poetry readings mm -hmm. to poetry slams. And uh, to, on Saturday, from 2 to 4, there's a poetry writing workshop. And I believe the title is Exploring Identity. Oh, nice. um, so very interesting. Yeah. I do believe you have to register. So go okay. to their Facebook page, okay. and you can get all the information there. And also, too, check it out because they've got things going on all summer long. I love that. Yeah. And then there's more fun happening outside uh, a lawn chair film yep. festival. That's on Sunday. How can people check that one out? Well, this is one of my favorites. Okay. Uh, lawn chair film festival. That information is in our summer calendar mm -hmm. as well as on Facebook, online. But it is definitely one of my favorites. It's, yeah. at, uh, it's in Old Town Saginaw, right on the corner of North Hamilton and Ames. Mm -hmm. It is obviously an outdoor film Film festival but this is their first week and they're showing somewhere in time oh. which classic love story okay. set on Mackinac Island at the oh, nice. Grand Hotel so if you haven't seen it I'd go just because it's really fun to see yeah. how they set the movie up with the period history I and love that stars uh, Jane Seymour and the late Christopher Reeves nice but one thing that I think is really exciting mm -hmm. with uh, this Sunday's program is they always do some pre-movie uh, entertainment and this Sunday is the Saginaw Bay Symphony Orchestra and it's a pop-up concert. Oh nice! It's a quartet but it's perfect for the time that time period that that movie is set to yeah. have a quartet from the symphony. So that would be special. It's super special. And Jazz in the Garden, we got so much rain yeah. this week. So Jazz in the Garden got yeah. rained out, but that's okay because we're making okay. up for it it's next okay. week. That's so right. tell us about next week's show. Yes. We have our second concert. Uh, this one is not going to be rained out. I, nope. Uh, I'm, we're we're gonna, claiming we're, it now. Yes, we're claiming <laughs> it now. We're going to hold uh, the weather people to that. <laughs> but uh, we have Mike Brush and Julie Milady. Mm -hmm. And they will be in the garden at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. If you haven't heard them, Julie's voice is just as smooth as can be, and oh, it's nice. absolutely beautiful. Nice. So I recommend you come on down, bring a lawn chair, mm -hmm. cool carts to go will be there, nice. so you can grab Italian ice oh, I love or that. yeah, something else cool for the summer and enjoy a great evening of jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, Seven o'clock, and like I said, bring a chair. And I will tell you that last week's concert, which was rained out, mm -hmm. um, has been rescheduled. So we'll talk oh, more about that later. But good, good, we'll good. Have them back. And Saginaw Art Museum is hosting its summer lecture series. Yes. Tell us about that one. Well, they have a lecture series and this first uh, first week is going to be a lecture about the Ring Home mm -hmm. and their, their gardens. It's mm -hmm. the Ring Home and Gardens, an Italian villa. And if you haven't been to the art museum, when you pull up in front, you can definitely see the Italian feel. Mm. And then when you get back into the gardens, it's just absolutely beautiful. Nice. And Tom Tromley, who is the chief historian mm -hmm. for the Castle Museum here in Saginaw, he is the man that knows everything about anything history in Saginaw. Nice. So he is the go-to, and he will be doing the lecture at the Saginaw Art Museum, 1 o'clock. Nice. I believe it's free with your admission. 
<laughs> and I am sure you will learn so many interesting and wonderful facts yeah. about the historic ring homes. So, I love that. Yeah. Marcia, anything else you want to add? Well, I just want to encourage people to get out and enjoy, you know, what we have to offer here in Saginaw mm -hmm. this summer. I mean, I understand it's going to be a really lovely weekend, a little warm, warm. but you know, get out early and, you know, lace up the tennis shoes, yeah, grab a bike, yeah. you know, we've got some great rail trails right here in this yes, city and then do. you can venture out from there. Mm -hmm. We've got wonderful, you know, murals and the mm -hmm. silo project mm -hmm. and of course there's all kinds of things to explore, you know, both inside and outside for the entire family. And you know what, it's so much to do in Saginaw, like you say, Marsha, you just have to get outside to yes. find it. That's why we have you. Yeah. You tell us everything. Well, I'm, I'm working <laughs> at it. I mean, you know, you can't beat being a tourist in your own backyard exactly. and especially when we've got lots of great free entertainment. Right for, you know, everybody with every interest. Mm -hmm. And we do have our summer calendars that are yep. available throughout the community. Um, you know, coffee shops, you can always get them at the libraries, mm -hmm. at our home at Anderson Center. And um, on Facebook, mm -hmm. we always put up every week what's going on for the week. Yep. And you can also download it from our website. Nice. So. Well, Marsha, as always, it's great to great. see you. And thanks for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it. And yes. we'll see you next week with see more to do. Week. Yes. All right. So you can find more information in the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com. We'll be right back.